medical research and innovation should be a priority for so many reasons. Number one, to help the individuals that are suffering. I mean, in my own family, the number of people that are impacted by cancer and uh, different things like that. Secondly, I think by investing in math and science and physics, chemistry, biology, the sciences, we can basically have a renaissance in this nation. And so I think it's important that we do these things, both to help people, uh, economics and different things, but mainly to help the person that is suffering. We have tens of millions of Americans who are suffering uh, and challenged in terms of their, their life chances by disease and illness. I'm particularly interested in brain-related research. There are 500 diseases, disorders of the brain, over 100 million Americans afflicted in some form or fashion. We can and we will, as a nation, do more. People need to be encouraged and inspired to start talking about mental illness. It's a family affair. One in four people are affected in some way by mental illness. So it's not something that's foreign to our, to our society or to our, to our country. And I think it's just there's something about it that um, people get afraid, they feel shame. Uh, that's why we, we are fighting against the stigma because I think it keeps a lot of people from talking openly and from seeking help. You don't have to be a scientist in order to move mountains. People can advocate by running road races, by volunteering, by working for, towards legislation. It's all essential. The science and all of the rest of it, that's the only way that we're gonna to get to a point where we have a healthier nation in the future, and it is doable. No matter the size of your megaphone, uh, how big or how small, it's important that your voice be there. The second thing is to remember that there are real lives at stake, real stories uh, that need to be told, celebrated, and shared. The more we connect to issues larger than ourselves, the more we connect to people outside of ourselves, the greater chance we have to live lives of greater meaning and transcendent purpose. Being an advocate accomplishes so very much, not only for others, but for ourselves. The more you realize that you have to be an advocate in your own care, because technology is changing so quickly, the more you'll understand you have to do the research, you have to stay up to speed, and it's your life. Healthcare is really going to be transformed by social networks that are made by groups of patients that are demanding improved health care, uh, better approaches to insurance and things like this. So the idea that these, these uh, individuals can actually play a fundamental role in health care and also have them realize how important research is to giving us the tools that are going to transform healthcare and move us from a culture that's focused almost entirely on disease to ultimately have a, a focus on wellness and health.